Hey, I'm Bradley with Bloom Brothers. This is my brother Joe. And we wanted to share with you a technique that helps us make big balloons quickly with a minimal amount of balloons to make the actual sculpture. So I'm gonna have my brother Joe show you what the technique is. And Mr. Joe. Hey guys, my name is Joe, I'm with the Balloon Brothers. I'm gonna show you guys a technique and a concept that we started doing a few years back. There was a T. Myers jam on the road type of thing where they were doing classes with Buster Balloon and David Brennan, and they had a 12 minute contest. And this was one of the concepts that I came up with to win a very, uh, you know, do something very quickly with very minimal effort, minimal balloons, but still have a huge impact. And then my brother had done this at Florida Super Jam last year, 2018. 17. And uh, 2017, excuse me, and he won first place in a competition with that and was featured in Balloon Magic magazine. And um, I'm going to show you the concept here. We call it the loop de loop, or we call it the brother bond. So most of the time we call it the loop de loop. The reason we call it the loop de loop is because we have two of these right here. You can either use 646 or you can use 660 balloons and we're gonna do two of them blown up. One of them is gonna be, I usually do them one slightly bigger than the other, but these two are gonna be about the same just for demonstration purposes today. So we're gonna have these two loops and we're gonna have Mr. Brad hold these two loops right here. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is take a 350 or a 360 depending on the brand of balloon that you use and we're going to take whatever base color that we have and we're going to just show you how easy it is to make something really big with a very short amount of time. So right now I'm just going to make a basic 4x4 four four head which is four bubbles for the eyes and the back of the head and then four bubbles for the muzzle cheeks and the bottom jaw. Okay so here what we're going to do is we're going to make a couple flower petals or not. A couple flower petals I'm not going to say what brand of balloon those were. And what I'm doing here is just basically making the, what I call the 4x4. Four four. This is one of my favorite type of techniques to use in the balloon game. Um, what I do is four bubbles by four bubbles. There's three here now, but I'll add one. So I basically do four sausage bubbles by four flower petals. One always the longest. And this is gonna create the front of my face and this is gonna be my eyes. So what I do is once I have this here, do a little bit of stretching here. We have a nice dinosaur head right here. Four bubbles by four bubbles. This base right here should be able to get you any type of animal design that you're looking for. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down about this far, make a pinch twist. I'll make a second one for good measure. So now we have the head, bubble, two pinch twists. And this is just for this specific design. So I'm gonna come back, make another pinch twist and leave the rest right here. And then what this is the reason why we call it the loop-de-loop, -loop, because you're eliminating all of the need to create a body for yourself. So this gives you extra time to use bigger balloons and make it more impressive for your guests. So what we're gonna do is a smaller one. We're just gonna take the loop, and slip this through the loop, and make sure that your pinch twists are on the front of the loop. And then we have this coming out of the back right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our other loop and we're just gonna slip this through. And then what you have is a really impressive, awesome, give them some eyes real quick. So now you have a really awesome, impressive balloon that did not take any time at all. So you're eliminating the need for you to make a body and just using these two loops can make a nice chubby, stumpy, cute body for you. And really it's limitless. These don't just have to be specific for a dinosaur. You can use this to make anything. Elephants, giraffes, rhinoceros. Um, and what you're really doing is all you're doing is creating the head. And what really is what you wanna do is just spend all the time on the head. And what you can do is 
using the same technique of the loop loop, you just have the head is the only difference. You change the colors and you just change the head. And you can even do one flower petal and create something like a little turtle. And all it is is just a head attached to some sort of balloon so that when you lock it into the 660, you have pressure from both sides. It's just a pressure fit. And that's all the loop to loop design is. It's just a head with 660s and a pressure fitted balloon. And you can make all types of stuff. You can make turtles, you can make dinosaurs, you can make elephants. I made a Barrett Florida Super Jam. This design, Mr. Joe uh, took T. Myers on the road. And, yes, uh, I won a competition in 2012 with the T. Myers Jam on the road in Rochester, New York with this pretty much exact design. And like Brad said, it's all it is is a 646 looped over. Um, the basic design uses, uh, can I see the elephant real quick? The same as the turtle, you're using pressure fitted with the elephant and the turtle. You're using a, oh, that's scrap. But you're using a five inch round or an 11 inch round, whatever size of the balloon that you're doing is, you're creating a nice head. You're attaching it to a slight bit of string and then you're attaching a round balloon to that, and then you're going to attach it through the loop and the other loop, loop-de-loop. -loop. Make sure that your head is flat to the body. Awesome giant balloon in no time. Um, really saves you a lot of time with the body, so you can focus all your energy here. Where I think the most impact is when we give a balloon to a child, the first thing that they look at is the face. So I always like to make sure the face is a knockout, but I don't always have time to make a knockout body. So this idea I came up with to make sure that I could have something really grand and cute in a very short period of time. So um, just remember the two loops, all you're doing is creating the head and you're either putting a pressure fitted five inch round through the loops. Thank you, Brad. And creating it with this style. There you go, Mr. Brad. Or, like what I did with the dinosaur, you're just creating a series of bubbles to go through the loops. And I always keep the tail pointing up just to help make sure that the loops don't go back lopsided or anything. And you don't have to worry. Once it's pressure fitted in there, most of the time you don't have to worry about the balloons falling apart or anything like that. The only thing I would say that you'd have to worry about is them sliding this way, but the more pressure that you have from the front of the sculpture to the back of the sculpture is going to help you make sure keep these tight right here. So, like I said, the concept, the loop-de-loop, -loop, use it all you want, come up with many ideas. There's literally tons of animal designs that we've done with these and other type of sculptures, and we hope you guys enjoy it and use it as much as you can. If you have any questions, I'll message us at our... Facebook page, which is Balloon Brothers, or you can message us on Balloon Twister Central, Joe Mock and Brad Mock, and we'd be glad to help anybody with any questions or getting you um, to help get the sculpture down a lot faster. Just let us know and we'll take care of you. This is the Balloon Brothers signing off. Thank you very much and have a great day.